This structure here is the, what they call the brachial plexus. You need to understand human anatomy. If you understand human anatomy, you know how to stop the animal. When you hit this structure with a large blunt force weapon, you will drop blood pressure to the brain. And the result is man down. I'm going to show you another picture because anatomy is important here. The, the skills that we're going to implement now will employ striking this target. This is the brachial plexus structure between the neck and the shoulder on either side. And it is rich in blood vessels, nerves, capillaries and arteries that feed blood to the brain. When blood flow is interrupted, you get unconsciousness. The simplest way to deal with a dangerous person is switch off the computer. There's three ways to switch off the computer. One is a knockout by a brain shake. So if you punch or strike any ledger bone across the chin, jawline, forehead, back of the brain stem, behind the ear, any bony ledge that you hit will shake the brain inside. The second way is altered state of consciousness. So an altered state. So you ever seen a boxer when he's been hit and he's still on his feet but nobody's home? And, and he said, how many fingers? Said, Fuck knows. <laughs> What's happening now, although he's not unconscious and asleep, sensory overload has occurred to the central nervous system. The third way is what you've just seen, a sudden massive drop in blood pressure to the brain. This is the least dangerous, because there is no danger of head injury here. If you understand human anatomy and you understand how to shut it down, the person that you are facing is less scary. We're interested in this target here, and we're also interested in the brain stem. The brain stem is at the back of your head. So if you take your finger down to the base of your skull before you reach your neck, this area where it's nice to get massage is your brain stem. It houses the brain stem. Right? This is the computer. This is the best target in human anatomy to knock out. This is the back of the skull. So, the skills that I'm going to give you now, which will work with a partner, we work on the pads, you are targeting here or here. Is some kind of structure. Ale bude se nám hodit potom nějaká zeď na ten trénink. I want to replicate the, the, the wall or in this example of the scene, the structure of the bed. Já vám budu chtít replikovat to vlastně, že v tom filmu tam byla ta postel, tak my to uděláme se z ní, protože máme malé postelí. Skill is simple enough. Jo, ta dovednost je prostě jednoduchá. It's gross motor in nature. Je to všechno prostě hrubá motorika. Once you learn the skill, I want you to plug in the mentality. A v momentě, kdy vlastně to naučení té dovednosti bude jednoduchý, ale potom tam dostat tu hlavu. So, Like I said, your imagination is your best tool. So I want you to, once you understand drill, I want you to imagine that scenario. It's imagination. You can imagine whatever the fuck you want, right? There's no rules, right? So, you're in a cell, you're with somebody who is in personality profile weaker than you. Individual comes in and wants to rape you and then kill you. High threat situation. And then I want you to imagine what character Richard did, and then I want you to imagine the attributes of Richard were inside of you. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter he's big and huge, it doesn't matter. I want you to imagine that he was a 
want you to model the mental component. A potom chce, abyste vlastně do sebe dostali ty jeho atributy, uh, tu chladnou hlavu, to jednání a sejmují to. So in the face of the aggression, he looked bored. To znamená, tváří tvář té velké agresivitě, on vypadal znuděně. He was calm, there was no emotional response. Jo, byl klidný, nebyla tam žádná emoce. And then when he went, it was immediate. Surprise, a, speed, and violence of action was present. A potom zduli na stůl, to bylo takhle. And then he went back to calm. A pak byl zase klidný. There is a reacher character in all of us. A hele, tohle je v každém z vás. You just have to find it. A jenom ho musíte najít. It might not look the same as that, but it will be the best version of you. Does that make sense? Jo, možná to bude vypadat úplně přesně jako ten týpek v tom filmu, ale každý ho tam máte a jenom musíte tu verzi, vaši nejlepší verzi najít v sobě. Right, so there's three ways in which we can train. Takže můžeme tři věci, jak to natrénovat. We're going to train with a partner. Můžeme trénovat s partnerem. In order to understand anatomical targeting. A abychom pochopili ty anatomické cíle, které chceme trefit. So the what he did, he dropped the head back, boom, in, grabbed the head, he <laughs> opened this structure, and then went boom, and the top fell off. Until he was fucking unconscious. Right? So the target, brachial plexus. This was a distraction. This was distraction. To get this, and look what he's getting done. And then from here, it's boom. And <laughs> so from your perspective, right-handed, from his perspective, he's no just like boom. Now, got it. And it was point of elbow to side of neck. Was it forearm? It was elbow. It was clinical and precise. This is how you would train it first with your partner. So yeah. the old head bar. Oh, you go. go right at my head. Grab it at the top because he wants this. He won't grab it here. He'll grab it at the top and he'll slam. Oh, 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 So I want you to feel the anatomical targeting of the what you're doing. What's important is that you train how you intend to fight. So if my only practice was just touch my partner, there's no impact. So the purpose of the partner drill was anatomical targeting. So you know and you understand what you're doing. As soon as you do that, The majority of your training should be doing that hard with attitude. But we can train that with a partner holding the pad. And you can also train it solo pad. If you have no friends. <laughs> so if I was training it solo pad, Yeah? My target was here. My first shot was headbutt. Then I grabbed, then I went. When I hit this pad, I'm not hitting the pad. I'm using my imagination. I'm hitting the big scary food <laughs> that wants us to turn my friend's asshole into a man. So simple enough, right? From your perspective, he's just gone back. And I'm looking down at my fallen subject as I look at Because in my brain, I don't hit pads. I hit people. If you're training with a partner, here, you can hold the pad to me, here, and I can go one, over. He's dropping your chin and driving forward. Where do you headbutt? You said? When you headbutt, use 
the top of your head, where it meets your hairline if you have one. Yeah? This palm here or here. Do not head bubble your face. The target is anywhere from the eyebrows to the top lip, nose, orbital socket, cheekbones, or temple. If I head butt above the eyebrows, I hit the hard head. If I head butt below the top lip, I have a mouthful of razor blades. In this example, the head butt's the distraction. Where you are now with me, right? Head butt. Now imagine you take the head. Then the one will slam. Yeah, you see your head. Now turn this over for your target. And now That's what you're doing. And right from the beginning, put a fuck you on the end of every shot. And here. That's what you see in your brain. Do you understand? Or do you want to see it again?